Hello everybody, I'm Faintly Saintly, and this is Taskmaster VR. We are up to episode 5, after a good little redemption arc in episode 4, after what was an absolute disaster in episode 3. So, last episode. Not quite sure what we've got in store here, but we're going to find out. Let's go. Welcome to Taskmaster. I'm your host, Greg Hello. Davis, and I shall be dividing my time between sneering at your best efforts to complete tasks, surreptitiously rubbing myself with 50 pound notes, and cruelly berating the stomach turning collection of meat tubes, ginger hair, and pedantry sat next to me. It's a little Alex Horn. Thank you, Greg. Do you want to hear about my new hobby? I've been getting into gaming. Oh. You know, I was about to reluctantly say, yes, go on then. But actually, no, absolutely not. Right, good. A new task, I think, please, Alex. <laughs> absolutely. That's a good job with this. this. Next task is like the lab after it's had 12 pints of milk spilled through the floorboards. Sommelier. <laughs> yeah, that's a good reference. Sommelier. Som smellier. Well done. Chunky Buck Rogers Sommelier. Hello. Oh. Please only touch the task card. What is happening here? The remote control. Alex. Oh my goodness. That's looking a bit extreme over there. All right. What have we got for us? I've started the timer. You oh no! Begin driving. That's not right. <laughs> when the robot's cocktail, with the robot's cocktail glass, clink each of the three other cocktail glasses, then deliver at least one pea still in your glass to the Taskmaster statue. Run reset if you spill your peas. You have twenty minutes. Oh my god! I have to clink. Just in case it looks like I feel threatened by the robot. Each of the I'm three not. other. I can't even do stairs. I can do at least three. So, there's one hanging there in the maze, right? Oops. Can I move this maze? Can I move the robot? Can I peel it? still a pee? Okay. They're not making it easy to cheat. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. I'm really proud of this one. You might say it's... Amazing. See, you be quiet, Alex. Carry peas around. It you be quiet. Two. You still need to clink all three glasses. I think I just lost a pea. Oh, this is. Yes. One glass down. Oh man. Stop spilling peas. This is a mess. Turn, you fool, turn. There we go. an open you could have gone in there maybe maybe not um okay so there's one over there that's surrounded by the stick spinning mannequins oh, and i see the other one over there but over in the distance there so what was the actual got to clink the three glasses Clink each of the three other cocktail glasses, then deliver one P to the Taskmaster statue. Can I sabotage these? Okay, you can go down there for a second. This will do.
All right, that's a no. <laughs> no, we cannot cheat. So it's all about timing. Here's my remote, there it is. It's dropping peas just from driving. That's glass two. On glass, glass two. One. Okay. Get your aim right. No, no, hang on, hang on. Go, go, go. Okay, made it. What is the go here? So do we want, I want to keep this kind of even. What is happening here? A little tiki bar. How are we going to do this? What's the right height? So for example, Oops. Too tall. There's always cardboard boxes. Okay, Let's, I'm gonna just move this forward a little bit, like lift that up, put that there maybe. There you go. Can't move that though. Just be aware, that's a real brick. So, what else have I got that's about the same size? This thing maybe? Building block of any task. There we go. Uh, what do we think? Might be able to move that just down a little bit. Okay, that's not bad. Greg bought that because he said it resembled my face. I don't know whether this is um, a good idea or just asking for trouble from some physics jank, but we'll see. Oh, that's, um, I'm not convinced, but the show must go on. Come on, little fella. Actually, I don't like that at all. Can we just do this maybe? That's a little bit better. Oops. I'm more comfortable with that. So, let's just back you up a little bit and get you straight in the middle. Oh, do we want middle? I don't know. Get it, get it, get it. All three glasses. Okay. Just need to make it to Greg now. We can do this. Don't tip them all. Slowly. Good. Let me get this out of here. I'll actually pull this one off. How close do you have to be? I have stopped the clock. Yes. The vegan cocktail has been delivered. Excellent. Plenty of peas to spare. Might have actually done alright in that one.
I know with the Taskmaster you can't assume these things. We'll wait and see what he has to say. I have a vested interest in this one because I'm hoping to soon have all my drinks bought to me by a sleek <laughs> sci-fi robot instead of this weird flesh robot sat next to me. So a control test with a statue of me and a glass full of peas is just what I needed. Perfect. Shall we look at the number of peas spilled throughout? Indeed. I don't want my robot depositing its yummy peas anywhere except in my eager gob. It was a torrential outpouring of peas. At least two Pea World family size bucketfuls. Terrible! We should make it clear, though, that no food was wasted. Alex snuffled every single last one up <laughs> off the floor like a besuited gerbil. Besuited gerbil. Yes, it was like a delicious little task, all of my own. So, scores? You got a vague approximation of a cocktail to a vague approximation of me, and in return, I will give you a vague approximation of an actual reward. Five points! Yes. I was a bit worried there. They've gone on about how many I spilled, but I did the task. Another task now, please. As requested. This next one is smashing. You are unbearable. Okay, what have we got here? Back in the lab. Conscientious hooligan. Hello, Alex. What is happening here? Okay. I didn't mean that. Get as many tennis balls into the box as possible. Score will be deducted for breakages. You may not touch the box or the balls. You have 10 minutes. Your time starts now. Just grab the handle and squeeze the trigger. Okay, so I've already broken something and lost points before the task even started by the looks of it. Um, I don't understand. What is that? Oh, it's just a light fitting. Can I leave the... Can I leave, Alex? I can. I don't know what I'm looking for. That's still a table. Go to the shed, go to the shed. There's always something good in the shed. I'm thinking... Not as weird a wooden thing as I am, apparently. I'm thinking shields. Thinking shields here. So, create a little backboard. Deflect... Oop. Deflect all the tennis balls in. And protect. The, oh my god, I'm going to break more things getting this in than I am just by shooting, I think. Okay, now that's good. Maybe. Okay. They are quite bouncy. Oh dear. All right. Something else I should have thought of probably before the pellet. What is going on? Open. I bought that for the caravan, but it turns out it's against the highway code. I can get this in. breaking anything else. Oh, no, I'm going to break these ones on the floor. Oh, that didn't break. That did. Okay. Did that one break? Yep. Okay. How's this? If I hold this here... God. 
One worked, didn't it? <laughs> I think I just gotta. Oh, Jesus. There has to be a sweet spot. Oh, I can't touch him. Have I got one in? I'm just purely giving up on the uh, strategies here. <laughs> Guns empty. Bit of a relief. One. Uh oh. <laughs> this might offset the five points I earned in the last task, I think. I should have spent more time building. Oh, lay it on me. Nana's fine china for this task. It's been in my family for generations, and <laughs> seeing you smash it up like that was heartbreaking. I'll be factoring this into the score, and no mistake. Yes, it did seem like they thought the task was just to smash all the things, which it wasn't. It was the opposite. I'm genuinely <laughs> irritated. Okay, and how many balls did uh, they end up with? Quite a few. The kind of thing you'd see with a loose balls 10p each sign in the corner of a low-rent sports shop. Hmm. Well, I'll be interested to hear how the math shakes out on this one, then. Shall oh, we make an attempt at scoring, then? I will, yes. I'm aware it's exciting to finally get your hands on a gun in this game, but that's no excuse not to put some thought into it. One miserable point. Yep, that's fair. I heard that. <laughs> Let's Disaster. Let's on to the studio task. Please, okay. make your way to the stage. <laughs> Oh boy. Pinnickety Park Keeper. Ducks with Fishing hooks. rod hat. Seems very much to me like you've just been to a Ducks with hooks. fair and copied a game directly, Alex. <laughs> yes, I went straight from the fun fair to the orchestra, so we've got some symbols in there too. Oh, good. Well, that will class the whole thing up, I'm sure. All right. Place the ducks on your symbols. Symbols being oh under the hat, of course. The sign shows which color duck goes on which symbol. Is there more than one, or maybe it'll pop up after I start? Incorrectly placed ducks will affect your score. You have five minutes. Your time starts when you put on the hat and pick up the symbols. Ah, oh, okay. So we picked them up. There's one each hand. We use the hat to drop the right color duck on the right symbol. The sign shows which color duck goes on which symbol. Ah, so blue ducks on the left, red on the right. To make things simpler, I've put some mild adhesive on the hat and symbols. So once you put them on, they will not come off again. Ah, thank you, Alex. Okay, okay. Five minutes. Five minutes remaining. Well, that was inevitable, I suppose. Hey. Good. Come on. I suppose the worry is also dropping them. Get on there, there we go. Come on, little fella, there we go. Sorry, I think I just had a mouthful of microphone then, so apologies if I just blew out anyone's eardrums. <laughs> so are they gonna have these things glued to them forever? Oh no, it's special glue, so they'll drop off naturally before we get to scoring. They might take a few layers of skin though. 
I say it feels right to have a hook on a hat attached to my head. It just it just feels natural, you know? What happened? <laughs> oh, I think I dropped that last one and that just ended it. Hopefully I'll get credit for all the other good work. We'll see. Well, I'll admit that was slightly more entertaining than your regular fairground duck stall. <laughs> you retain your job for now, Alex. Phew! So, seemed to me they filled those symbols right up with ducks. Yes, like two golden ponds in mating season. A bucolic, yet erotic image. Did they correctly pigeonhole their ducks, though? Oh, yes, they did. Very few ugly ducklings in the batch. Yes. OK, shall we crack on with the scores? Yes. Although, don't think I didn't notice your attempt to sneak in a quack pun at the last minute. Not perfect, but still an impressive bout of duck on symbol collection. Four points! I'll take it. Ten episodes gore. Alex, get your advanced mathematical skills in gear because I demand to know the episode score. We've hit double figures. Ten points. Not great, but I'll take it. So much for the battle, but what about the war? Series score, please, Alex. Fifty-two points. Hmm. Okay. Congratulations on a stellar performance. Please make your way to the stage for fondly by oversized of colour head. Thank you. Wait, isn't this meant to be gold? I'll take it. Oh, maybe I got so silver because I didn't get a perfect today. score. We've learned that just like life itself, crockery is delicate. And also, like life, it makes a satisfying smashing sound when you attack it at high speed with a tennis ball gun. Thank you for playing, and goodbye! Oh, <laughs> says me right. Okay. And that's the series. Had some ups and, and some downs. Um, so that score, I don't know if you saw that an achievement popped up. I got a score between, I think it was 50 and 74. So what I'm assuming is that 75 would be, what's that, 15, 30, is a perfect score. Um, and that would be, I guess, how you get the gold head and that final achievement. Um, so basically this tells me I've just snuck into the second tier of, of final score. So not terrible, all things considering. Obviously some room for improvement, um, especially in things like this with shooting the uh, tennis balls at the at the crockery. Uh, but yeah, so I guess you can play that series again, coming in with a bit of inside knowledge and, uh, and try and do better in these ones. You can also come over here and replay these individually, but I don't think this actually updates a series score. Well, I'm not sure about that. Worth testing. Definitely want to replay this one and see if I can get my little strategy down. But being as that's the end of the series and end of episode five, I'm going to leave it there. So thank you for watching. If you like this and want to see more, please consider subscribing. I do cover VR games 
indie games and all sorts of different things like that. So if that's something you want to see more of, come along for the ride. And if you have any game suggestions, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. So thanks again. I might come back for one more episode of Taskmaster, maybe to replay some of these tasks just to see if we can do a bit better. And also this has a basically task creator. You can come out here in, in the whole, you have the whole house, the whole yard. And from what I understand is you can access any types of items, set tasks, and then uh, try and complete them or, you know, pass the headset to a friend or family member and they can try and play it. So I want to have a look at that and see what's involved there. So stick around if you want to see more and I'll hopefully see you next time. Thanks.